It was two days before the 58th United States presidential inauguration, and the Trump International Hotel was a main tourist attraction for the people of all backgrounds and political preferences who flocked to Washington, D.C. to witness this historic event. One lady from Sweden told us that there is a rise in popularity for Trump in Europe. And we are also very surprised in Sweden about why there was so much focus on the non-issues. Why? Because in Sweden there's a lot of focus on the issues. But it's interesting to note that some U.S. citizens discredit the non-issues. In po politics you take swipes at each other a lot. Uh, if it were a Democrat coming in the office, I'm sure things would be said about them as well. So I, I don't put a whole lot of weight in it. One man disagreed, claiming the voters cared too much about the non-issues. Listen, it's the news media that did this. The news media will do what it can to get the views. For fans of NBC's This Is Us, a meltdown in episode one nails it. I knew exactly what this job was when I took it. Shame on me for taking the money. Shame on you for making me famous. Shame on all of us. Political preference notwithstanding, it seems many have reached the consensus that media has great power. And with great power comes great responsibility. Shannon Larian reporting from the Trump International Hotel in Washington, D.C. And this is Networking in New York.